just off to get some dinner for my son, but I put a tweet out this weekend and it seemed a fairly simple thing. It was just a single row update of a table, but people just absolutely lost their minds. Now, why did they lose their minds on a single row update? Well, I had two sessions, each updating the same row, in the same table, in the same schema, at the same time, and one of them wasn't blocked. Now, that's a bit weird. Obviously, it seems to break everything that you've come to know about Oracle databases and databases in general. Generally, if you're trying to update the same row, same column, same table, same schema, same database, then one of them should be forced to wait. So, what's going on here? It's not breaking everything, and in fact, it's a very cool feature uh, that's coming in 23C. But of course, because it's new, because it's a bit different, the responses immediately came as, what's the trick? Are you using auto commit? Are you using synonyms or row level security or some bizarre thing to sort of stop uh, the normal operations happening? And no, we're not. And after the why, the, que the, the why questions subsided, then of course came the doubters in terms of, well, okay, I understand now that you're allowing these multiple updates to occur, but I see no use for it. I see no benefit. Why would I ever want this? I want locking, etc. So let me explain that maybe this is actually a huge game changer, even though it doesn't seem to have a practical use at first glance. And in fact, a lot of people said, oh, maybe for internet of things or fast logging of data or, or eventual consistency, we don't worry about accuracy. This feature comes with all the normal stuff in terms of accuracy and in data integrity. And let me explain why this is gonna be a game changer, even just for stock standard OTP databases. Most companies that have a web presence are in the business of selling something. We're all in here to, to make money. Let's assume you're a retailer and you're selling, say, phones. I'll go into a store, I wanna grab a new phone, so that becomes a transaction. Now, in its simplest form, what's going on? Well, I'm probably logging a row into my sales table. Yes, Connor has bought himself a new phone. Now, maybe if I have some sort of customer details as well, as part of that transaction, I want to update some details about the customer record, in this case, a customer row for Connor, and therefore I might increase the number of sales this customer has done, what their account balance is, etc. Now, if another customer comes into the store and they buy a phone at the same time, yes, we log a row in the sales table, but also we need to update their customer row. Now, that's not a problem. Obviously, me updating my customer row isn't going to interfere with someone else updating their customer row. This is all just stock standard database activity. But what if in that same transaction, we insert a sales row, we update the customer row, but what if we want to update, say, a products table? The fact that the number of iPhones, for example, sold has gone up by one because I've bought one. Another customer at the same time who has just bought an iPhone they now also want to update the products table to say the number of iPhones has gone up by one as well. Now we have two separate transactions, separate customers, both competing for the same row in the product table. Now in the past, that's a problem. That's a huge problem. What, what are your options? In the past, you could do nothing and just say, okay, fine. If two people are trying to update the same row at the same time, one of them has to wait. And all of a sudden, someone buying that iPhone seems to get a very slow response from your website. The other option would be, well, maybe we don't do the uh, any kind of product summaries and everyone pays the price internally when they query. Your business intelligence people say, okay, I wanna see how many products have been sold. We don't have a products table, we just have to roll up the data from the sales transactions themselves. Over time, that's gonna become unsustainable because you might, hopefully, if you're successful, you'll have millions and millions of rows in your sales table. And so the only real option up until now has been, well, all I can do is build a lot of complexity. Maybe every time I insert a row into my sales table, I put an entry in a queue, and that's something in the background processes that queue, rolls up the information into my products table and other summary tables that I needed to make sure that the summary data is kept in roughly in sync and only in near real time sync with the sales data. All of that complexity or all of those uh, compromise solutions are now potentially solved. 
with 23C the ability to have these multiple rows or multiple sessions updating the same information but still with the normal data integrity rules in place solves this issue. And I would argue that almost every single transactional system out there has this need, the ability to roll up summary data as part of sales transactions, which in the past was a nightmare to do. Now, before people panic, this isn't some default operation that comes across the board in 23C. This is something you nominate at a column by column level for those particular columns that you expect to need to allow multiple people to update it all at the same time. Ultimately, it's about those typical situations where we're applying deltas. Product total equals product total plus one, yeah, etc. Those kind of things. When you're doing a delta to a particular column in 23C, you'll now be able to allow multiple people to put their updates through without having any contention and locking problems. What's not to love about that?